but actually they're going to be getting in these cars that Garland did with flowers and they're going to inaugurate this desperately needed new tunnel for Tehran. And I suppose in some ways it's Tehran's take on a tunnel of love. And uh, I'm not going to go and ram the camera in their face, but it just is quite amazing just how carefully constructed this whole affair is. And that was a worry, because I was busking this story. With all this security and a huge press pack in attendance, what chance did I have to get my interview with the brides? I just want to see him greet the newlyweds. Please, please, come on, come on, please, please, go on, for just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Now, the reason for the huge numbers of press here has less to do with the brides than with the star guest. I had no idea that President Ahmadinejad was actually opening this tunnel in person. All these people are hoping for is a few shots and a few words with the president himself. I can actually see him now, he's just arrived. He's very smiley, he's very friendly. Here he comes, and he's got his famous Seer Sucker jacket on. I was departing from my own agenda by glad handing with the president, but old habits die hard. Meanwhile, my quarry was slipping away from me. I couldn't get anywhere near them. Giving, the president's giving each of the couples a little pep talk, especially the men, as they go through and shake his hand. Probably some kind of a marital advice or something, I don't know. There's never an event that doesn't have some Islamic significance. And so it is with Mother's Day. This is actually the eve of Fatima Zahra's birthday. She was the Prophet's daughter. And then events started to overtake me. Security guards bustled me over to pray with the president while they were shoving other reporters back. It seemed the president's publicity machine had taken a shine to me. Yep, I was being spun Iranian style. But I have to admit it, I'd brought it on myself with that handshake. Now, I was praying for an exit strategy. Security asked me, would you like to come and pray? And I'm like, Salam, Raggy. What's his name? Muhammad Hassan. Muhammad Hassan. Congratulations. Tell him congratulations. And what's your wife's name? Could you, could you ask your wife how she feels, if that's OK? It's good, it's not bad. It's good, it's not bad. Congratulations. It's good, it's not bad. And that's the only quote I got. Because, as I'd been warned, in Iran, man wants to talk, only man wants to talk. 